chapter 4 the forest society and colonialism in this chapter we will be dealing with what is a forest how did the society start to impact on the forest how the forest got degraded or forest started to disappear due to the influence of colonialism these all aspects we will be dealing in this unit you all might be studying in a school where you find benches made of wood and everything you find there is something which we get from forest in your school even when you write with a pencil that also is made with the wood of the forest trees only so these all in every day to day life we find things which connect us with the forest we don't know directly that they are from the forest so in this unit we will be discussing what are the reasons that made the people to do deforestation and what is deforestation let us see now if you look at the Amazon forest or the Western Ghats forests, they are in one pitch, a long stretch forest where you find 500 different varieties of plants and species which are living here. And UN has recognized these as the World Heritage Sites list recently. And now from 1700 to 1995, the people started to cut down the trees that is 13.9 million square kilometers of the forests are being cleared for various reasons like industrialization or for any other constructions or whatever it is. It is nearly 9.3% of the entire forest cover what we have on the earth. So why did the people do deforestation? Now, why did the man started to do deforestation? Coming to India's background. India is a land where one-sixth of its population truly depends on agriculture. Today, we have three-fourths of the population depending on agriculture. So, the number of people depending on agriculture started to grow the year by year after. So, deforestation means the clearing of the forest for whatever may be the reason. So, the forest gets disappeared. The naturally grown trees, which are homes for the animals to survive, were known as forests. But today, they are clearing the forest and this results in shooting out of the forest from the land. So you get extra land. As the years passed on, the India's population started to grow up year after year. The population is growing. The need for the food to supply food for all the population so the demand for the food started to increase in order to match up the requirement of the food requirement the situations turned in such a way that the Britishers itself directly encouraged to clearing up of the forest Britishers first thought the clearing of the forest would help the people to do commercial cropping commercial cropping whatever we do the cultivation for the earning huge amounts of profit is known as commercial cropping. This commercial cropping major crops are jute, sugar, cotton, wheat, etc. So they started to do these crops. These are first initially encouraged by the Britishers. So to match up the food requirements of the population growth also, they slowly started to give permissions to clear the forest. They also thought that forests are waste and they are not at all used. If we clear the forest and bring them under the agricultural use, they can collect tax from them. It automatically generates revenue for the Britishers. So in this process, they started to give permission for the people to cut the forest. Britishers standing at the first encourage the people to clear the forest. Now the population who are depending on agriculture started to grow day by day. The need for the food also increased, the demand for the food also increased day by day up. So in order to balance these both, the clearing of the forest has become mandatory. We all have to remember the fundamental that even to plow the soil or till the land, we need the forest to be cleared along with that. It was a time when the industries are shooting up at here and there. So to match or to supply the raw materials for the industries we need the raw materials from the forest to the industry so for that purpose also they started to clear the forest to get the raw materials for the industries and the growth of urbanization people started to migrate from villages to cities 
in order to match up the requirement of the urbanization also people started to move from one region to another region so for this all reasons they started to clear the lands the forests which are nearby to the cities were been cleared completely to accommodate them to supply food for them to do cultivation for them to supply raw materials for the industries so there are various reasons which encourage the deforestation if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus